that the health, safety, well-being of our players, our fans, our tournaments, everybody that's involved in our ecosystem is of, of, of utmost importance. So for us, we are relying heavily, as other leagues and, 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 and sports and entertainment venues are, relying heavily on the World Health Organization, the CDC, but primarily, given the fact that we're playing 175 tournaments over six tours, this really is about a market-to-market -market exercise and truly understanding the local public health officials, local government officials, what's happening on the ground through our tournament directors in every single market where we play. So suffice to say, it's a very dynamic situation, but I'm really proud of the amount of effort and thought that's going into uh, not only where we stand today, but the commitment to continue to gain as much information as we can and candidly the contingency plan for a lot of different scenarios given that this is an unprecedented situation. And as it relates to others, you know, other tournaments and looking across, you know, our schedule, I would just say that, um, you know, we're working very closely with each of those organizations. They're part of the work that this team, you know, is, 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 is undertaking talking to those organizations every single day on the same conference calls with various health organizations. And I think, you know, as it relates to any other tournaments and, and what other organizations are doing, I can't speak to it. You would have to speak to them. But at this point, they're, you know, I think everybody is, is planning on, you know, moving forward full speed ahead, ex exercising their tournaments, but also keeping an open eye and an open mind to the information that's coming their way.